morning folks Todd metalhead weatherman here quick update before i go to work here with the current severe situation at the time of this video there actually is a current tornado warning ongoing over here in kansas towards southeastern kansas right now so it's a pretty powerful storm on radar there is a chance that this may be on the ground so the threat never really ended but it didn't necessarily materialize it was as it was once envisioned it wasn't a whole tornado outbreak there were a couple tornado reports and those were going to be over towards the nebraska kansas state lines here mainly saw damaging wind reports last night and a few hail reports to go along with it there is however another enhanced risk for later today towards eastern and central iowa as well as northeastern parts of missouri there is a slight risk that covers a large part of the midwest here and even starting to expand towards that ohio valley region here as far as the hazard types are concerned for today we do have that hatched risk with a 10 percent tornado threat to go along with that so it could be a couple of strong tornadoes do have the 15 percent wind threat and also a 30 percent hail threat that's further off to the west so we have a we have the makings for another long day we will likely be streaming this afternoon i'm going to take a quick look at some of these parameters before we get going here this is what our storm system is looking like currently it's really started to wrap up at this point today we aren't going to have the same kind of capping issues like we had yesterday a lot of dry air in the lower and mid levels of the atmosphere it took a little while for things to get going here as we went through the stream last night, we just kind of broke down what ended up happening with that and why we had such a delay here. Very That was a very dangerous nocturnal setup that could have took shape here. Thankfully, it didn't, but this is what we're looking like for today. Things start to really ramp up probably right around lunchtime and beyond that point. As we get later into the day here. We'll see this eventually expand all the way into parts of Illinois here. And we may even have to watch some parts of the Ohio Valley later this evening as we go forward from here. But yeah, very strong inland cyclone right here. We also have a well-amped short wave over here as well, especially as we get later into the day. And then also when we look at the low-level jet, since we're going to be near that surface low as well, we're going to have plenty of low level energy to work with as well. So looking through pretty much the whole check down here, you can see the moisture starting to surge in as we go on throughout the day. And here's once again, our lifting mechanism. And this is when things start to pick up. Still got warnings on going right now. Just getting updates from that. That's the sound that you're hearing from my discord server but like i said somewhere around lunchtime between then about four is when i would expect the storms to start to fire and like i said they're likely to go on through the evening especially as we go into parts of illinois here I'm thinking more so towards northern illinois and then also have to still watch southern illinois as well then from that point we'll go ahead and take a look at our some of our parameters here Looking at our instability for the day, we have a decent little drop off, but we also have to watch over towards northern Missouri and maybe even central Missouri for the early part of the day. We do have parameters set for uh, that are sufficient enough for severe weather, especially in our instability. Like I said, not going to really be as much of an issue with caps. So that once these storms get going, that's going to be that. And then as we continue to go forward, we see that increase in Cape as we go towards eastern Iowa here. So very active evening ahead here, possibly an afternoon for these guys. And then we even see that um, rich amount of Cape, about 1500 plus going into Illinois as well as we get later into the evening. So another potentially long duration event. We'll see how things pan out. Like I said, I don't think it's going to look a lot like last night it's going to be a little bit different i think it's going to be a messy storm mode from the look of things but we'll just have to wait and see how things pan out with that last thing we'll go ahead and take a look at here is what our simulated radar looks like 
and remember this where our crosshair is this is our target area so here we are getting into lunchtime we get some storms to fire and it's really right after it's when things start to pick up here get the 21 Z and things start to ramp up over towards Iowa a little bit more and towards Illinois and then here's a second round as we close out the evening here so we could potentially be looking at two rounds of storms the instability there's enough instability for that to end up being the case here we'll see what that first round of storm storms end up doing and we'll just kind of go from there probably going to end up going live as soon as I get home we'll see how things pan out with that but this has just been a quick update here. I'll have this video up probably at about maybe 8 o'clock Eastern, maybe 9. We'll see how things pan out. But that being said, hope you guys have a good rest of your day here. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Ty Metalhead Weatherman signing off.